literally bought this just so I could. Hi everyone, I'm Jam Simone and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing a collective haul. I'm going to be showing you a few clothing items that I've purchased over the past few weeks. So if that interests you, continue watching, like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so today I want to do things a little different. I'm trying things out to see what I like better. Um, I want to try talking to you guys about the items while I have them on. I usually sit down and have a clip of me trying them on on the side while I talk about them. But yeah, today I want to try something a little different. So the first item I want to show you all is this top. This is from Tropic Babe, and I'm going to link it down below, of course. Um, it's called the Hillary, like crop top. It's called the Hillary top, and it's in green. It's like a lime green color. I really like it. I have it on with these pleather pants. Um, I showed you guys these pants in another haul. I believe they're from Meshki. Um, but yeah, I think these go really good together. I would totally wear this outfit out. Um, but yeah, the only thing I don't like about this top is that it's kind of see-through. Um, you can see my bra if I come a little closer. I'm wearing a strapless one. I actually tried it with pasties as well, but it looked really <laughs> silly. Like way worse than this because you can see the outline of the pasties. So I still need to figure out a good shirt or bra to wear underneath this so it doesn't look all crazy. Um, cause I'm not quite satisfied with how this even strapless bra looks under it. But other than that, it's a really cute top, one shoulder, as you can see. And I just think it'd be really cute in the summertime or I have like a couple of trips planned um, to like California and stuff. So I think this would look really cute. And you'll notice that this haul, there's like a lot of vacation items because I've, I've kind of been planning for those different trips. Okay, so this is the next item. This is the Skim Spando bra in the color sand, and I got it in a size medium. Um, I already knew I was gonna love this because I already have it in black. Um, I love the Skim Spando bras. I want them in every color. I was debating about also getting the pink color. Um, but yeah, it's just a great bra because I know it's not gonna slide down. I don't have to worry about flashing anyone on accident. Um, cause I've gotten some bandos from other places and they totally just slide and I have to constantly pull them up. So these are great. Love them for that. I maybe could have sized up just cause I do see it's pressing into my skin and I'm not sure how flattering that is, but other than that, I love them. And I mean, I could wear it like this out. I don't know if I would. Um, also imagine wearing it with some high waisted like flared jean pants that I have as well. Um, but I feel like it's pretty versatile. Could wear it under something. It's just a good top, simple, basic top that I feel like, or bra technically, that I feel like anyone, everyone this should have. This next item is from Zara. This is the cable knit sleeve scarf, is what they called it when I looked at my receipt. Um, but this is in a size medium. It's a nice little sweater. It's green colored and I really like it. I actually found this sweater because I was watching um, Naturally Sunny on YouTube and then she was doing like a vlog and she was watching this other YouTuber. I think her name was Shayla, but I don't quite remember. I'm gonna have to go look back. Um, but yeah, she was watching Shayla who was doing like a clothing haul and it looked like she had this sweater on and I was like, oh, that sweater is cute. Like I just caught a glimpse of it and I was like, that is so cute. I have to find that. So I had to like go find the other YouTuber and then find her clothing haul with this sweater in it because I was so in love with it. Love at first sight. Um, <laughs> so then, yeah, I found it. I love it. I think it's super cute. Um, I know the other YouTuber said she didn't like it that much because of these little linties on it or whatever, but it doesn't bother me. I think it's really cute. Um, and this is what it looks like after it's been washed. Everything in this haul has been washed already. So this is what it looks like after it's been washed. Um, but yeah, I really like this sweater. I do wish that the sleeves were longer cause I do like to pull my sleeves like <laughs> over my hands. It's just like a comfort thing. So I do wish the sleeves were longer cause I'm constantly having to pull at them. But I think it's really cute. I got this in a size medium from Zara and no regrets. No regrets. That's my credo. No regrets. Mm -hmm. 
How about that? Okay, so this is the next item. This and the next couple items are all gonna be from the same place. I got them from this boutique I found on Instagram. It's called Scripted Locks Boutique. And I was pleasantly surprised when I received my items from them um, because they were having some kind of blowout sale and I ended up getting three items. I got this bralette, another bralette, and some pants that I'm gonna show you next, all for like $23. So I thought they were either not going to show up or they're going to be really bad quality, but they all feel really nice. Um, they're all really good quality and I love all the items I got. So this one in particular, this is the emerald green uh, silk bralette and I got it in a size medium. It feels really nice, like a nice satiny material. It's stretchy too, which I was surprised by but I like it, it's really comfortable. It has adjustable bra straps and it has like a little bra latch system going on back there. So yeah, really easy to get on, really comfy. And I could see myself wearing this under something. I could see myself wearing this out by itself like this and just feeling really cute and sexy and fun and flirty um, out at the bar or something. But yeah, pleasantly surprised. And I think they tend to have a lot of sales because I've been getting emails from them about other sales as well. So yeah, definitely go check them out. All right, so these next two items are both also from the Scripted Lux Boutique. Um, I love them both a lot. They're very comfortable. Uh, these are the Palazzo pleated pants um, in this like red burgundy color. They're very flowy, very cute. And they have this drawstring. These actually come in one size fits all up to size extra large and they go to my ankles. If anyone's taller than me, they might be not long enough. I am like 5'4", almost 5'5", five five. so if you're taller than that, or I don't know, I wear my pants really high, so if you pull them down, I guess they'd be a little longer if you don't wear your pants as high as mine, but I feel like they'd be a little short for anyone taller than me. Um, but yeah, and then this is the velvet lace bralette. It has adjustable straps, also in a nice like burgundy color. Um, but yeah, you can see the velvet there and then the lace. Oh no, is the lace already ripped? No, I think I've already ripped the lace a little bit. That kind of sucks, but I really like these. These are both really comfortable. Although my boyfriend did kind of mess this outfit up for me, I don't think I'd wear these together because um, he did point out that it kind of looks like pajamas. <laughs> and now I can't get that out of my head. So I think this might just be an in the house outfit. Especially now that I ripped this freaking lace. I'm bummed about that. It did not come like this. I must have been too rough with it, but <laughs> I don't think I could wear this out of the house now since he said that because now all I see is pajamas. Really nice pajamas. I don't mind it because I really like having nice pajamas, but this might just be an in the house cute outfit for me um, now. <laughs> I mean, I could see myself if I didn't rip the lace like wearing the top out with like some jeans or something, but I don't know. Maybe if I separate them, they'll look more like outside outfits. But maybe that's just him. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me if you think this looks like pajamas because that's all I can see in my head now. And I feel like I have to just wear this inside now. All right, so here's the next item. Super comfy, super casual. This is from Fashion Nova. It's the I Wanna Know plaid tunic. Um, got it in a size medium. Um, I felt like this was either gonna be a hit or miss. That's usually how these types of tops go for me. Um, I've already worn this. I wore this to a concert, I think like last weekend. And I actually had, it's like kind of oversized. It definitely covers my butt a little bit. I have it on with these pleather pants, which is how I imagined wearing it. Um, I could see myself wearing this like a pumpkin patch or something also like in the fall time. Um, but to the concert, I actually wore it like tucked in, like I crossed it over kind of whoop, like this and I thought it looked super cute I didn't have these pants on with it what these did I have I had some like black jeans on but I had it like kind of tucked 
in like this ish and it was super cute and then I had a um, corset top underneath it and had it like more unbuttoned but yeah it was super cute to the concert oh also one thing I didn't expect though was like this um I don't know like these unfinished kind of hems little strings come off here and there so I wasn't really expecting that I don't think I looked close enough, but when I was about, before I bought it. So sometimes when I wash it, like I see these little strings come off, which isn't really the best, but it's fine. I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't bother me too much. I technically got it for free with the sale that they had. So it's all good in the hood. <laughs> and like I said, I'll get a lot of wear out of it. So, but yeah, if that's gonna bother you, I would not get this. It's like not <laughs> made that great. <laughs> but yeah, cute top. And now let's get into my vacation items because I got a lot of items for Puerto Rico next month. Um, so we got some bathing suits and like cover ups that I'm gonna show you tonight. Check me out. Do I not look like I should be on a boat or something? I love this. This actually, okay, so first of all, let me give you guys the deets. This is from Fashion Nova. <laughs> I got it in a size medium. It actually came with um, some bottoms as well, like little skirt that also has these tassels on it. But I gave the bottoms away <laughs> because it was just, not even covering my whole butt. Like it was like halfway on my butt. And I just felt like it looked really trashy on me because I have a tattoo and with the netting and then with it not covering everything, it was just too much. I just wouldn't have felt comfortable like wearing it, like wearing the bottoms and this and no. When I felt comfortable. So I decided I will pair this top with this set if I really want to, or with these bottoms, or something, with something else. I think this top would look really cute, um, just with the skirt and with this top, no. And I had watched other like reviews before I purchased it, and it was great on them, but like they were a bit like more petite than I was. Um, so yeah, it was not giving. So we gave the bottoms away, and we are just gonna keep the top which I do with actually a lot of my swimsuits. I'll like get the swimsuit just for the top and then I already know I'm gonna scratch the bottoms. Um, so this is the three piece pants set from the MAC collection. Got it in a size medium, I'm pretty sure. Um, did I? Okay, so this is the three piece pants set from the MAC collection. I actually got this in a size large because their swimsuits tend to run a bit small on me. Um, I had these pants on with the Fashion Nova crochet top that I just showed you guys. Um, but this is, this whole thing is from the MAC collection. It comes with these swim bottoms, the bra top, and these sheer pants. And this is just in white, in the color white. Um, but yeah, usually their things run a bit small on me, so I got it in large, but I definitely have some extra boob space in here. Um, you know what it is? I think I can do probably a medium in their two pieces, but not in their one pieces. Because with their one pieces, like, I'd be feeling real squished together. So <laughs> I think I have to do like two pieces, my regular size, and then one pieces for MAC collection maybe go up the size. I think is what I'll start doing. Cause they always have pretty good prices for their swimsuits. So if you're so wondering. this next item is from Shein. It's the open stitch cut cover up, open stitch cover up from Shein. Um, I think I got it in a size medium and I just have my one piece swimsuit on underneath it. It's not from Shein, but yeah, I wish you guys could see how long it is. It's pretty long. It like, goes past my ankles, it kind of shows here. Maybe I can push the camera down so you guys can see. But this is what the whole thing looks like. Pretty much touches the floor. But yeah. All right, 
right, next item is this scuba zip up swimsuit, also from Pretty Little Thing. I got it in a size medium. Um, I got this because my friends were talking about doing jet skiing while we were there, and I thought this would be like a good thing to have while jet skiing. Um, but yeah, it has this zip up, so you can zip it all the way up, or you can have it down a little bit if you won't get a little shake -shy. Um, but yeah, this is the scuba swimsuit. I think it's super cute. Um, I've been thinking about buying a swimsuit like this for a while, and I think this is perfect. It like has pretty good coverage in the back. I'm not gonna show you guys, but yeah. Like all my blue cheeks aren't hanging out, so that's good. And yeah. All right, so the last item I got from Pretty Little Thing is this magenta underwired cupped um, bikini bra or top. Um, I just really like this top. I love the color of it. I think the shape is very unique for like a swimsuit top. So that's why I got it. I got it in a size eight. Everything from Pretty Little Thing I got in a size eight. Um, I think I've been saying medium, but I think they do numbers, but same thing, medium, size eight, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cute. I think this is perfect for, you know, people like myself that are part of the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> But I didn't get the bottoms because they looked a little bit too small, like too cheeky for me. And I really only feel comfortable in some suit bottoms that are like high waisted and give me like more coverage. Um, Cause I just, I don't feel comfortable like having all my booty out and jiggling. <laughs> so I'd probably just wear this top with these like black swimsuit bottoms like I am now. Um, yeah. All right, so for this next one, um, I had to turn the camera so you could see the full picture, but I wanted to show you these pants I got. Got them from Thrifts and Threads. I did splurge a little bit on them, but when I saw them, they just screamed festival to me, so I had to get them. They have a little fringe here, and then some cutouts all the way down the leg. Uh, just seems like a really cute swimsuit cover up, and then you tie them here. They have them in different colors. They had them in like um, like a cream color, a white, a brown, a blue. They had ombre. Um, and they also have like tops that go with them. But I was like, let me calm down and not like spend too much money. So I just got the pants for now. Maybe next time I'll go back for the top. But I just want to see, I was just really in love with the pants because they just said festival to me. And I actually saw them first from um, Alexis Rebecca. She had these on um, for one of her travel vlogs, I think. And yeah, I just was like, I'm going to a festival, those say festival, I need them. So I got them and I was scared that they were gonna not fit right because um, all the reviews said that they fit a little bit big. Um, and when Alexis Rebecca tried them on, they were big and she had to get them altered. So I thought I would size down. So I think I did size down in these. I think I actually got a small in these and they actually fit pretty good. I don't think I'll have to get them altered. I do wish they were a little bit more high-waisted just because I'm a weirdo and I like my pants to be high and like hug me on my waist for some reason. Um, but they fit, they fit really good. I like them. I think I'll be able to dance in them for sure. All right, y'all, here's the last and final item. It is this top from Princess Polly. Um, definitely can't wear a normal bra with this. I have my nipple covers on with this. Um, and yeah, I like this top. I wasn't expecting the material to be like it is. If you guys can kind of see, I don't even know how to describe this kind of material, but it's a little bit rough but not so much on the inside, just on the outside. I wasn't really expecting it to feel like that. Um, but I think it's a really unique top. I really like these cutouts, that's why I bought it. It has like these strings, these drawstrings that allow you to kind of adjust it. Ooh, girl, be careful. I just pull on stuff, but yeah. You can kind of adjust it or you can slink it up more. You know, make it more cropped. And then the back is just plain. This is what the back looks like. It's just a plain white tank top looking thing. And I have it on with some high-waisted jeans. These are not from Princess Polly, but 
just if you're wondering how I would wear this top, I think I'd wear these together. I think that would look really cute. All right, y'all. So we made it through all the items. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending this time with me. And um, thanks for letting me show you all the clothing items I bought. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. You are so lovely.